Hello, my name is Blaze, and today I'll be showing you how to add homebrew and PSP ISOs to your Sony PSP. First off, you'll need a few things. You'll need to get custom firmware on your PSP, so I'll put a link to a tutorial in the description. You'll also need a mini USB cable, which you can buy for less than 10 bucks at Memory Express or Amazon. Next off, you'll need the ISOs and or homebrew games, and of course, your PSP. First off, download your homebrew games or ISOs. For ISOs, I use the sites ROM Hustler and Nice ROM. And for the homebrew, I use uh, Woolaloo.net. So after getting that, you'll need to unzip the file, and I use 7-zip, or uh, if I use 7-zip, but you can also use different things like uh. Mac has a built-in one. So, to unzip uh, a thing after you downloading 7-zip, you'll need to left-click, or right-click, sorry, uh, and then go to 7-zip, and then extract here. It will take a while to, to unzip, so you can just wait a couple seconds, and then it'll be done. So you'll get files for each one. And then, yeah, you just need to unzip. Boom, and you'll get files. So, that's it for unzipping and getting your files. Okay, now that you have your files, it's time to put them onto your PSP. First off, you're going to have to plug in your micro USB cable, so you just plug that into your computer. And then next off, you got to turn on your PSP. Take a second, because mine... Pretty, it's an old system. Okay, now you gotta take your micro USB cable and then plug it in. It'll automatically go into USB connection and then in USB mode. Then you go back on to your PC and then you're, you'll be good. Once you have put your PSP in USB mode, it is time to add the homebrew and the ISOs into your uh, PSP. First, you're going to need to make a new folder called ISO in all caps. I've already made a folder, so I don't need to do this. And then, once you go into your folder, you take the the file in your that you unzipped from your uh, from your ISO, and then you drag it into the ISO folder on your PSP. It'll take a couple seconds to uh, copy it. So while it is copying, I would like to mention that it is illegal to download ROMs and ISOs unless you actually own the game. So you have to own, let's say, because I'm using Mega Man Powered Up, I, I would have to own Mega Man Powered Up and it's to be illegal. I do own it, so I'm just copying it down to my PSP. So, and for homebrews, it is completely legal to download them. You don't need to have it. It's just a free game that people have made. So, it will finish down uh, copying in a couple seconds. And then once that's done, we will go on to homebrews. So this is just for ISOs. You can't put a homebrew file in an ISO thing. Okay, since that's done copying, for the homebrews, we go into PSP and then game. And we take the folder that we unzipped from our uh, compressed file that we downloaded, and then you just drag that into here. That will take, I'm just going to guess, less time depending on the game. So there's lots of homebrew that here. I've got Minecraft PSP with one, Wagix the Gathering. The Doom 2 Cave Story is definitely, if you're going to get a PSP and you want to add homebrew to it, first game you get Cave Story. It's an amazing game. Okay, so once you have all that done, you have to make sure that you have all your stuff. Almost good. And then you just, it's time to, you take your P PSP out of USB mode, and then I'm going to go back onto my PSP. Once you have put your games onto your PSP, you can go, go onto your PSP and then go into your memory stick uh, file right here, 
and then you should be able to find it somewhere after running uh, Pro C Fast Recovery. So this is just, uh, after you turn off your PSP, you'll have to run this to get all your files, except homebrew files, but it's running. It takes like five seconds to do. And then you just go back onto your PSP and your memory stick. Boom, I have, uh, here's Mega Man powered up. And then if I go down here, I should find my homebrews. That's corrupted data, so that probably didn't work, but uh, it depends on what game. So here's Cave Story. Definitely get this game. This game is so good. And then here's Mega Man powered up. If I, I can run it. make save data take a second and we get right into playing the game works perfectly so this is my tutorial on how to download homebrew games onto your PSP and ISOs leave a like if you were uh, if you liked the tutorial and it worked out for you and basically this is it